Hello hi everyone, Christian and Geek of the Hybrid and this is Rai Reveries. Now Rai Reveries is a point and click adventure game where you play the man, the legend, the drunker, uh, never mind, Ed Edgar Allan Poe, the author, the poet Edgar Allan Poe, and uh, you have to go through, well, some weird experiences that he probably had during his life when he was um, in intoxicated or creative let's say creative now Rai Reveries is a game that's being developed at uh, live in the game and it's a project that's on Kickstarter because its developers are looking for funds in order to finish the game they're looking to raise $18,000 and you can uh, check out the Kickstarter page uh, in the description below uh, what I'm playing right now is a demo is the prologue of the game so let's go right in. The game will have a prologue an epilogue and six chapters in between all those and uh, here we have Edgar coming home from work. Why must why must I be a lapdog to overgrown fleas? But alas, their benevolence keeps me hanging by a thread of copper. Do they not care for my turtle soul? Well, no, probably not. Even in death, these pens lack the weight for a final fairy ride. What an uncouth potter I must share in this endless waltz. If only my muse hadn't deserted me. Hey, do not joke like that. I will never desert you, my dear Eddie. She's she's calling him Eddie. She's calling Edgar Allan Poe Eddie. That's... Um, oh, you misunderstand, sissy. I meant to... One of your fervent admirers? Oh, do not worry, Eddie. I understand. And besides, how can I keep a temper when you address me so affectionately? Sissy, I... wait... Did you happen to neglect your studies? Why, Eddie? Is this our first greeting? You know I so... I do so fancy burying my face in a dusty old book and not falling asleep even once, probably. I have read up to chapter 11. No, 12 today, in fact. Splendid to hear. Which means that now is the opportune time for a test. A test? Yes, a test. Now, you failed. I'm sorry. What? But, but you did not even ask the question. That is not fair. Even after I spent all the time studying area... Go on, sissy. Sound it out now. Arithma, Tectici, uh, Chemist, uh... Oh, is that so? Wow, she's lying about what she studied. Well, I must apologize because I simply cannot believe you. What a positively cruel thing to say to your wife. Cruel? No. For who could I resist the allure of a beautiful day such as this? Uh, the cruelest thing would be not to enjoy it to the fullest, yes? Since you've clearly studied most of the day away, I believe a bit of fun in the yard is in order. Delightful. Oh, but uh, the last time you played Leafrog, it split your only pair of trousers. Besides, I need to study even more now in case you try to test me again. You have been far too busy these days anyway. Do you not still have your newspaper articles to review? Oh yes, you're right. Thank you, sissy. Eddie, before you go upstairs, can you light the... hurt for me? The... anyway. Uh, I feel oddly cold this evening. Well, I don't know if she's like... oddly cold. I know she's she died of tuberculosis, I believe. So, she may be... Okay, so over here you can see uh, this huge button over here. Uh, this is, you know, to open the... Well, the inventory, basically. And we have a clock. Does time even matter? Oh, great. Great, Eddie. This cycle seems inescapable at present. We have this. Uh, his manuscripts. A genius reduced to pathing on the backs of common fools who are incapable of spurring a reader to any action or thought. And his quill. The only weapon required of a civilized man. Alright, so... Okay, so she told us to light the fire, so I'm just going to pick up this and let's light the fire. Mm, a proper fire with evil eyes and all. 
Now, while she goes from one place to another, hmm, let's take a book. Read between the lines. As I expected, vacant bots. Okay, let's pick up all the books. Mm, same thing, and you can see there's something behind. I guess I... Well, maybe my wife uh, hid this. Is this where you've been? Oh, my sweet. At long last, I can continue my work. So that's my muse. It's I guess it's alcohol. I must keep this from my darling sissy. It is merely a factor of my creative process, and a small one at that. Do you ask me something, Eddie? I could not hear it clearly, sorry. No, my dear sissy. But I feel a swell of ideas manifesting and must go upstairs. Wonderful. Do not worry, I will not disturb your writings. You know, she, she sounds lovely. It, it, it doesn't... It, it gets a little bit freaky when you find out that, you know, she was 13 when she married Edgar Allan Poe. Yeah, it's freaking weird. I guess I'm not really sure when the game is set. But I'm guessing it's set either in the late 1830s or early 1940s. 1840s. 1840s. I did 1940s? Sorry, I said 1840s. 1840s. Empty and hollow. Not even a crumb is left for us. It's as if fate has deduced that I need to control my diet or lack thereof. Hmm. Could it be that there exists in this house nothing to bring nourishment? Wow, well, he's really hungry, I guess. Hmm, this is where we typically prepare a meal, but I doubt there are any remains, that any remains exist now. Yeah, I would suppose that something may yet still linger here somewhere. Well, let's check. Aha, there is something. Meat! What a glorious discovery. You parasites! Unable to wait patiently for my corpse to steal an appetizer as well? An attempt to ingest this would only serve to prepare myself as a main course. Base, so basically I got some rotten meat. Well, okay, it's not rotten, but it's meat with maggots on it. Ew. A positively delectable meal for the greatest of adversaries. Yeah, let's. so we're not going to eat that, just so we're clear. I'm not going to eat that. Nope. Not in that state, at least. Not with all the maggots crawling around. So this is... Uh, a room, I guess, the bedroom and also the study or the workroom. The stage is set. Okay, let's get to work. With review, article reviews, the cycle repeats itself once more. I can't continue like this for much longer. Yeah, he's gonna be dead in like a decade anyway, so. The man with all the right answers. So, this is what I'm supposed to review. Mr. Thomas Dunn English, not only is he the kind of political political candidate that we so desperately need, but he's also an artistic genius. Acute to the level of crime represented in this fine city, the common man would limit this to murderers, thieves, adulterers, hardly anyone knows what's really best for them, so they act selfishly in the way they conduct business, treat loved ones and consume goods. His name is Marmaduke Hammerhead. He is very stylish, in fact, he's completely obsessed with himself. Tries to be a writer, but unlike myself, he is a failure. This incites fits of anger that cause him to lash out at his loved ones. Uh, in my book. In my book, wait, productive creative to ease his stress. Edgar, I mean Marmaduke, drinks until he's on the verge of death. Is this about him? Hmm. He can remo remove such toxic people from we can remove such toxic people from our everyday lives. The truth is, you don't know what's best for you, but I do. Hmm. So what should we do with this review? I don't know, three three dots. Who performed this interview? It's as if the reporter were gratefully sucking on the teeth of a bloated, herniated heifer. Wow. He he really didn't like that. Alright, now, let's actually try to write some of our poems, maybe. I simply can't do this without my muse. Every genius must be must struggle through adversity. adversity. Okay, so he needs, he needs to drink, basically. 
the next day, th this should be like a few moments later. Welcome home, Eddie. Did uh, Grimswood, Grimswold, Grim Griswold appreciate your input? You mean my superior guidance? Oh, Eddie. Unfortunately, no. He seemed to be far more interested in producing the usual dull, shallow narrative expecting the starving minds of readers to sate their intellectual appetites. He's a fool! I'm sure he will grow to understand your work soon. Maybe it will help if your criticism were a little less... Um, correct? Uh, intense. I know how passionate you are, Eddie, and I think that maybe uh, that maybe catches him off guard a bit. Sissy, if this were my first day, week, or even month, I could possibly agree with those sentiments, but it's been years. He obviously sees me, sees me as a threat, at least in that sense, he's a smart man. Oh, Eddie. Oi vey. Oi vey, Eddie. Okay, let's um, take this meat. Actually, wait, let, let me look in the mirror first. Merely a dream or... Well, it's not a dream, it's a magic mirror. And if you show it... The meat? It's as if life were restored to the beast! See? We now have an edible piece of meat. No more maggots. No more maggots. What is it, Eddie? Um, well, there's something you want to show me. Are you hungry? It would almost be time for supper, but I do not think we have anything left to eat, because he's not providing much. Uh, did you receive enough from your work to browse the grocery grocer today? I may even settle for something past you, just please do not grab those mystery care packages anymore. Okay... Here's the meat. Oh, Eddie, thank you. That was a bit too rare, Eddie. I think it bled on my lips. I... I feel ill, but please do not feel concerned for my health. You have work to do, do you not? Yeah, I guess. Can I play the piano now? Perhaps instead, I need only listen to sweet tones within Sissy's graceful voice to lift my spirits. Well, she's not going to sing. Because she's uh, not feeling well. Tuberculosis will do that to you, you know. Alright, back to work. With a new manuscript, a new story to review. The cycle repeats itself once more. I can't continue like this for much longer. The first American bard. Greatness is not a gift, it is something one earns through perseverance and tenacity. No man alive knows this more than John Hill Hewitt? 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 Hewitt. His father and siblings all possess some talent when it comes to music. Not only did he fail to graduate, but he was expelled. Shortly after joining, tragedy struck the theater. It was raised to the ground by fire, everything inside was... Musical teacher at the Baptist Female Academy in South Carolina. Okay. Well, the rumors soon spread of his ethnicity. Found career as a writer as well. His style and prose is so versatile, writing anything from books to articles and even poetry. Is, is he talking about himself again? His poems are perhaps the most prolific of any American poets. I don't know, let's this. Such lofty exaggera or exaggerations over common mundane duties. If one can't be something, then teach it! <laughs> Even th in this task, Mr. Hewitt struggles, finding himself a disgrace among men and a dangerous monster to his dainty female pupils. Alright. Okay, let's try to read, write some our own stuff. This page reflects what I sense inside. Shouldn't it be all dark and something? Okay, he still can't do this without the muse. So he, he still can't write anything for, for of his own, right? Welcome home, Eddie. And now we're the next day. Uh, are you feeling well? The anguish I feel over the loss and ill-informed masses in insurmountable, uh, insurmountable. I truly dread what the world may soon become when common folks are uh, treated as men uh, uh, of worth, like Griswold. Wow. So, your ideas were rejected again? 
I cannot continue to live in this cycle of ignorance for much longer. I must make my genius known somehow. How will you accomplish that, Eddie? Oh, how is your manuscript coming along? It's... um... May I read it? No! No? My dear sissy, it is nearly complete, but without a closing paragraph to tie the impact of the story together, it would be a gross disservice to have you read it in such a state. Oh, okay, well, please let me know when I can read it, Eddie. Oh, I will. Thank you. Okay, now we're gonna go outside a little bit, because we can. And here we have a um, street merchant, let me, merchant, let's say. Hello again, Mr. Poe. You're a smart man, you know. You won't find a better price anywhere for these goods. They may not be the finest of quality, but it's not like they will kill you. <laughs> I'll cut myself as lucky then. I appreciate your business, Mr. Poe. Take care now. Yes, and thank you. So that guy... Uh, I, I buy care packages from him. These packages. Uh... Uh, okay, wait. Okay, so that's weird because it, it's a care package, but it also says, "Well, let me give you, give her the care package. Maybe she wants to eat." Oh, Eddie, thank you. What a delightful meal! If only we could eat this way every night. Oh, I must apologize. That was a rude thing for me to say. Thanks again, Eddie. Oh, she's really hungry. Now you get to work, and I will um study. I don't think she's studying, I think she's just like really really tired and sick. She does... Then again I look very sickly too. Well, maybe we can play the piano a little bit? No? No piano? Okay. Tomorrow then. Tomorrow, back to work. Come on. More dreadful reviews. Let's see. How to become a kickerbocker. Nick Knickerbocker, not kicker. Knickerbocker. What's a knickerbocker? Greatest movement in literary history is upon us. Seemingly overnight, the Knickerbocker group, prestigious group of visionaries, look no further than Lewis Gaylord Clark. Familiar with the virtues of Rip Van Winkle is already leaps and bounds of the group is intelligent, well-mannered and highly cultured. Mr. Clark's magazine, he has pointed out on several occasions a harsh disdain for the flaw of, common, of the common man. To be content is the worst flaw of our human race. Appears to mean dull, tasteless or mundane. Accepted as a member of the group, wants uh, must be an award-winning author, heritage in honor of the Knickerbocker name. Yeah, whatever. I believe this article lacks the awareness of its own relevancy. It speaks of virtue and from its core flows propaganda. Wow. Alright. Well. Back to not being able to write our own stuff. Uh, see? He can't do it unless he's drunk. Well, unless he's, you know. Ah, welcome home, Eddie. Did Griswold like your article? My article? Oh, I, I mean your story, sorry. He is the type of man who fails to perceive the significant intricacies of my prose. I'm afraid that my words are simply outside the bounds of his mediocre intellect. Well, how about a second opinion then? You know, I do so enjoy reading your work, Eddie. I'm afraid that is not possible. Well, why? Are you comparing me to Griswold? No, on the contrary. Well, good. Then what is it? My only draft is still in, on his person, so even though I would be delighted for you to read it, I simply can't. Ah, I'll be able to read it one day. It, it, it's really been so long since you have written something. I was looking forward to it. It has not. In any case, I assure you that you will be able to read it soon. Uh, just not this present date. It would kill me if I missed my chance to read it. So why? Uh, so try not to keep me waiting, okay, Eddie? Of course, you see. Of course, I see. Let's go maybe get another care package. Ah, Mr. Poe. A pleasure as usual. You'd be glad that you didn't miss this opportunity. Here's a little something extra and cruel just for you. 
And I know you'll be delighted. <laughs> Phil, oh, thank you, sir. Do come again, will ya? Okay, so this time, the guy gave me some liquor. Alcohol. Because he knows I like it. What is it, Eddie? Um, was there something you wanted to show me? Yes. When I tried playing the piano, it just sounds plainly wrong, and I do not know why. Hmm. Okay. Well, probably because there's a mouse in there. Won't you play for our amusement? Why, of course, Eddie. So here we have a, sh a little mouse, and he moves or turns as you play. See? He's actually kind of cute. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Right. And see, it opens like a, a hole. Oh, that's an interesting melody, Eddie. It sounds so terrible that even mice hate it. Now, let me play something nice for you. So, um, what do you think? It was beautiful like you. Oh, Eddie, thank you. It would pray, um, if, you're, if you would praise your uh, contemporaries like you praise me, surely your work will be more appreciated by the magazine. I believe your editors are still in your room. I did not touch them, I swear. Okay. So we have a mouse in the piano, we don't have any food. She's sick of... she's getting sicker and sicker by the day. Alright. Back to work. Sissy mustn't learn my occupational expulsion. Which gives me yet another reason to overcome this block. Occupational exposure? Uh, expulsion? So maybe I was fired? I simply can't do this without my muse. Nope. See? He can't write anything. I think he, he had a writer's block for a long time. Welcome home, Eddie. What happened? Um, oh, well, Griswold, he actually liked the draft I wrote. It took him a while, but he finally recognized the masterpiece that it is, so he decided to keep it. That is wonderful news, Eddie. Yes, it is, but that also means that I can't supply you with a copy, I'm sorry. I do not mind. What? I've not known you to ever speak in such a rude manner. Well, I will just read it when he publishes it, right? I'm so excited. This is what you have been always this is what you've always wanted, right, Eddie? Ah, oh, yes. Yes it is. Unfortunately, it's not going to work great, but okay. Okay, let's play some more. Maybe I can actually get the mouse out this time. Uh, let's see. So, need to make him go all the way like this. Right. Oops. Uh, oh, poor mouse. Oops. Okay, turn, little mousey. Come here. That's good. Hmm. No, no, wait. Let's make him come over here. Alright. Get over here. Um, okay, and... No. That's not good. Hmm. Turn. Come on. Get over here. Actually, I don't need to get over here, right? Ow! Freaking mouse. Okay, that didn't work properly. <laughs> oh, Jesus. It's alright. And the game crashed. Ah, great! Well, it didn't crash, technically. It, um... It just... It... It, it froze. See? Nothing works. Well, this is a... 
pretty early demo build. I mean, the game is expected in 2019, so yeah, I'll take for it and go back. But yeah, that that happens unfortunately. Made by Unity. Well, made with Unity, not not by Unity. Sorry. All right. So we're gonna play again, and I pretty much went through most of the demo, so I'm just going to um, get my muse as fast as possible. And you'll see what happens when our little Eddie actually gets his muse. And actually uses it, because that's, that's the most important thing. That's how he starts creating. Okay, let's not uh, leave Sissy with, uh, in the cold. Oh, Virginia. I don't know why he calls her sissy, but okay. Alright, let's get the alcohol behind the books. Come on. And then we'll go quickly upstairs. And again, this is the prologue. And uh, it's it's not obvious, it's not polished or finished. So keep that in mind. You know, bugs will happen. Come on. Alright, so now in the attic, we can use the muse. Oh, my muse at long last. So you could basically use it from the beginning or, you know, wait and uh, use it later. But why use it later? Buttons up. And, well, okay. I think he's dreaming. I, I don't think that's real. Uh, yeah, and I think that's the end of the prologue, everyone. Uh, the prologue of uh, Rye Reveries again, uh, point-and-click adventure game from Live in the Game uh, project that's right now on Kickstarter. So if you're interested in you know supporting it and seeing Eddie go through uh, 13 stories, um, actual stories, um, weird stories inspired by the uh, by his works uh, then uh, check out uh, it's the Kickstarter page uh, the game as I mentioned it is expected somewhere around October 2019 so autumn let's let's just say autumn 2019 and if you want to support it uh, you can do so uh, you know with a pledge at least uh, $15 will get you a copy if everything goes well and the game is finished and if you pledge at least $60 you'll get early access so I'm guessing you'll get some uh, early builds and uh, you know that will probably allow you to well see the game earlier and you know test it out and maybe provide some feedback uh, f uh, to the developers until then though you can play the prologue uh, you can do a few more things that i haven't done here and you know you should try uh, just check it out see what uh, what else you can do with um, well with sissy with some items that you picked up and um, you know just check it out and again it's available this prologue for windows and mac os and if you like it consider pledging on the kickstarter page as always, everything in the description below. Thanks again everyone for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like the other content that I put on the channel, like, you know, other gameplay videos or live streams, developer interviews, walkthroughs even, then please subscribe to Cryptic Hybrid and tell every single person you know who's interested in PC gaming of youtube.com slash cryptic hybrid. You can also support me by using the Amazon links in the description below. Uh, whenever you buy anything from Amazon, either for yourself or as a present, and all the, well, a small percentage of the money you spend there, will uh, hopefully reach me and um, all of that is done at no cost to you extra cost to you at least right so you don't pay more for the items that you buy through the um, uh, to the affiliate link it just it's just what it is an affiliate link thanks again everyone for watching and until the next time we see each other have an awesome day